If you're suffering from lower back pain, there's a good chance it's coming from your glutes. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Coach Brian Klopacki, certified strength coach, also a certified functional movement specialist with criticalbench.com. And there's a good chance if you're watching this video right now, you're suffering from lower back pain. It's very common. Well, I've experienced lower back pain at some point in my life and I'm sure it's, uh, you're, you've experienced pain at some time in your life as well. It's just one of those things that you'll get at some point. But a lot of the time, the root of the issue comes from your glutes. And no matter who you talk to, they might say, oh, it's, it's your back, you gotta fix your back, do your core work. That's sometimes accurate, but really, a lot of the, the issues come from your glutes, not having strong glutes. So the issue is having weak glutes. So within this video, I'm gonna share with you really six techniques uh, that will, you, you'll need to apply in order in order to fix your glutes and also your lower back pain. So when you picture people running, it, you see long, graceful strides. But in reality, the main push happens behind the person's body. So when the pushing uh, gets too much, or if you're pushing from a weakened point of view, tightness and soreness will affect the glutes and also up to the lower back. Most importantly, the piriformis muscle. So the piriformis lies underneath the glute muscle or underneath your butt. So when the piriformis is tight, it has a tendency to pull on your glutes, affecting your lower back and also your hamstrings. And this will result in poor balance, even that shooting leg pain, uh, commonly known as sciatica. So the gluteal complex consists of three different muscles. You have your glute max, that's your biggest muscle of your butt, your glute medius and your glute minimus. Your glute max is the powerhouse of the butt where the other two muscles are more of stabilizers. And it's important to train all three muscles properly in order to make sure you're having equal and balanced glute muscles. So again, if you're suffering from pain, like excruciating pain, it might be best to go see a physiotherapist, a chiropractor, an athletic trainer. But try these uh, exercises or this five exercise protocol that could possibly help you alleviate back pain, but also help you progress towards strengthening your glutes. The first one is called a, uh, a hip flexor stretch. If you've seen any of our previous videos, you're in a half kneel position and you're just rocking forward. If you've seen our meet the glutes video um, that I talked about antagonistic muscles, the opposite or opposing muscle of your glute, it's very important to wake up the opposite muscle. So as you know, we sit on our butt a lot, almost all, all day. So our hip flexors become restricted and limited. That prevents the glutes from being woken up. It's also referred to as uh, muscle inhibition. So if you wake up and stretch out, elongate the opposing muscle, your opposite muscle, your glutes in this case, are gonna have a better neural response when just walking, exercising, things like that. So this exercise I'm doing right here, it's a hip flexor stretch, opening up the hips in a pulsing fashion, maybe three to five seconds per pulse, and just working it through there, okay? Very good, effective exercise to stretch out the hip flexors. So now that we've stretched out that muscle, we want to go towards the, the, the main muscle that we're focused on, which are your glutes. Now we're going to go into a muscle activation exercise called the prone glute squeeze. So the importance of doing the glute squeeze is uh, it's called neuromuscular activation. This wakes up nerve endings within that muscle to prime it and ready it for movement. So it's important to wake up the muscle before you actually start using the muscle. Again, like I just said, if you're dormant and sitting all the time, there's definitely gonna be almost 100% chance that your muscle, the gluteal muscle, is not woken up. It's kind of asleep, if you will. So stretch, activate, and now we're gonna go into two different st strengthening exercises for the gluteal muscle. So as you can see here, these are lateral resistance band walks targeting the outside portion of your glutes. Again, you set the parameters with this. You can do five steps, you can do 50 steps. It doesn't matter, but the main thing is you do it uh, with ease and you also take your time getting this done because again, you wanna make sure all the emphasis is going on your glutes, not your quads, not your hamstrings, and definitely not your lower back. This is safe to do uh, with some resistance um, and it's also safe to do with that resistance because you will still activate and strengthen those muscles. All right, so the next exercise is your traditional glute bridge. Nothing new here. Get on your back, bend the knees, keep your hips tilted back into that posterior pelvic tilt to take any pressure off the lower back. 
Lift your hips up towards the ceiling and then lower back down. You could also use this with some light resistance on your, on your waist there. But I would start off with just doing a body weight movement of this. 10 to 15 reps, really squeezing the glutes at the top to get more activation of the gluteal muscle. And that is also gonna help protect the spine but strengthen the glutes at the same time. So the last exercise, it's more of a stretch. This is your traditional pigeon pose. Uh, it's, if you've ever done yoga or seen this position, it's, it's a yoga move. Cross that front leg, and if again, if you're in severe pain, this will be painful. Try to ease into it. You might even have to elevate your, your, your front leg there, put a towel under it, a pillow on it, even getting on a bench and just kind of leaning into it. So if you're excruciating pain, I'm gonna talk to you in a second about the protocol that you need to apply. But hold this as long as you can, you know, for 30 minutes or 30 seconds up to a minute, trying to get down lower into it. And don't forget to breathe. Breathe deep breaths and kind of sink into it. As you exhale, try to sink down deeper into that stretch. So let's talk about a pain protocol. If you're in excruciating pain, I don't want to, you don't even want to try any of these exercises. You got to apply, you know, basic uh, injury protocol, which is rest, ice, compression, and elevation, or the rice principle. You've probably heard about this for decades, but it's true. If you have an immediate injury on your lower back, apply these principles first, and then uh, eventually you're gonna say, all right, I can start moving again. Uh, and, and another way to incorporate uh, some kind of pain treatment is with a tennis ball. And uh, if you've seen any of our previous videos, you know, I talk about tennis ball for uh, recovery techniques or even foam rolling. Your piriformis, like I said a few minutes ago, is underneath your butt cheek. S take a seat on the tennis ball. I'm not sure if you could see it through the turf here. The way to target the piriformis is to cross that front leg like the pigeon pose there, okay? That moves the glutes away. And if you find that tender spot right there, hover around it, 30 seconds to a minute is all you need. And this would be done pre-exercise, post-exercise in the middle of the night if you wake up from some severe pain. And I'm telling you, if you use this in addition to th those five exercises or those stretches that I told you about, you're definitely gonna be on your way to eliminating your back pain. Um, so other than that, I think that pretty much covers everything you need to know about uh, strengthening your glutes, but also help alleviating any type of back pain. So in summary, do these five exercises, incorporate some basic injury uh, training protocols like right, the rice method, some foam rolling, some tennis ball or lacrosse ball massage therapy. And if it's still, it just it doesn't get better over time by applying this protocol. By the way, you can apply this protocol that I just talked about multiple times a day, uh, three sets, five sets, five reps, 10 reps. But first, I would start out, if you've never done this before and you're in severe pain, one round is all you need, 30 seconds most with each, with each stretch, five to 10 repetitions per each exercise, and then just kind of work through it. Um, that's it. I think you're on the way to uh, getting some, hopefully some back pain relief and also strengthening your glutes. And I know there's gonna be other uh, exercises that can strengthen your glutes as well, but again, we're, you need to take into consideration your back pain, and that's your number one priority to get that fixed. Other than that, I wanna leave you something else to read. It contains other glute information. It's called the five minute glute workout. Only do this workout if you're, uh, if you, after you experience uh, relief with your back pain. But uh, it's a free report and it's definitely a great read. You gotta click this box right here to get it. Click it, give us your email and we'll send you the PDF for free right now. Don't forget to subscribe to us by clicking right here. And check out these videos that I know you will find helpful with your training. I'm Coach Brian with CriticalBench.com. I appreciate you watching this video and have an awesome day.